Hello and welcome back to the channel. Working in the art industry can be incredibly rewarding, but it can also be incredibly stressful and eventually the inevitable happens. We all stress out and we get that creative block, that burnout. And this episode is dedicated to just that. Yep. And just for giggles, I'm going to ascend a 300 foot cliff in Friendship, Wisconsin at the Rochecree State Park. My name is Jeff Moore. I'm the Northwoods Carver, and thanks for seeing what I saw. Well, I found this article called Art Prof. I believe that stands for professor, and it's going to be all about artistic burnout. And there's a few things I mentioned in this video that'll help you keep that burnout at bay. 300 steps. Ugh, this is going to hurt. I think I can do it. Will you join me? See you at the top. I basically do a lot of content with, you know, finding really good uh, articles and then bringing light to them so people can go to that place and check them out. And this is one of them. This is How to Deal with Artist Burnout, discussion by art professor Clara Liu and teaching artist Jordan McCracken Foster. Okay, so those are your those are your people responsible for this. I did not write this, and but I'm going to read it as a review and hopefully you guys get a get something out of it because for every one of these things that I'm gonna read I'm gonna give a personal experience on or hopefully give a personal experience on how it went for me and if it ever affected me or if it's affecting me now currently as we speak I spoke okay how to deal with artist burnout number one take regular breaks that is a that's brilliant yes you got to take regular breaks I know when you're in the heat of the moment it's really hard to let go you don't even realize like I don't so much have to deal with that with my regular job as carving when carving's concerned but I definitely I suffer from that when I'm making videos because I love making videos I can sit here all day and just literally I've sat here for 10 10 12 hours straight and just edited and did voiceover and whatever so yeah but it does burn you out and I, I don't do this every day I don't do this for a living this video thing here this is not this is not my living this is just for fun okay the next one number two get up and physically walk around every 20 to 30 minutes now that's asking a lot I mean if you're an artist and you live at home or you work from home or wherever and you're the boss by all means get up and walk around but you might uh, suffer some consequences but I understand you know if you're in, in an intense thing like if you're an illustrator or whatever you, it's good to just get away and just you know go outside get some fresh air walk around a little bit maybe have a conversation or maybe just stare out the window into space I don't know okay number three shake it up by trying a new art media or subject now I think that's really good advice right there because I I'm I'm I can do multiple different mediums and not a whole bunch but enough where it's gonna keep my life somewhat interesting <laughs> if i if i just sit down long enough you know i think this the the new the new mind even for older people like i'm i'm 50 i'll be 58 coming up here in about another month or two and i'm not i guess are not as addicted to my device or my devices as much as say the younger group but i tend to um not have a problem with it i can put my phone down and forget i where i even put it where some people it's attached all the time, right? So I have this this ability to take my device and it says here, shake it up by trying a new art project. So what I'll do is I'll just find in something interesting that it's inspires me uh, using the internet. Uh, I don't know, that's weird. Uh, and it's and it's fun and I can, like I said, I can do a few different things. I do pen and ink, watercolors, you know, painting. I can do sculpture, I can play music. You know, I like messing around artistically, making videos, crappy videos, but hey, they're mine. Anyway, so shake it up, trying a new art, media, or subject. Number four, your life isn't over if you don't make art for a little while. Amen to that, man. I haven't made art in two days. <laughs> I've been here making stupid videos. All right, yeah, this would be number five. Indulge yourself occasionally. Make fun art or whatever you enjoy. That is a must. I just did a video about when I, I talked about this. So like when you make art for a living, you, you know, you can you can take a break and be inspired by someone else and 
maybe potentially copy their style or try to copy their style or learn from that style. So that's make fan art means, I didn't mean to say fun art, fan art or whatever you enjoy. And that's exactly what I do. I just, I'll either do, I don't do fan art, but I'll do what I enjoy and that's copying other people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, number six, turn off social media temporarily. And that is a good way to get that back because if you turn off your social media there's nothing that's going to be constantly pulling you away it's like people that are addic addicted to alcohol or cigarettes or whatever they got to break away and have a cigarette you know they could they any kind of stress they, they, they boom 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 and it's the same thing with the phone or these devices now it's even more so actually uh it's like a dopamine addiction just boom boom you gotta have it Stock up on content for social media, spread out your posts. That's what I'm doing currently right now as I read this. So I'm just stocking up on my recordings so I can put videos to them. Okay, so, all right, so that would be number six. Number eight, you're burned out if you're thinking in hyperbole. For example, all my art sucks, or I will never be able to gain that skill. If you say those things right there, all my art sucks, or I will never be able to gain that skill. You, my friend, my dear, dear friend, my brother or sister in saw, you are burnt out. You need to take a break. You need to back off. And especially when you're, when, when it's getting deep, like when you're up to your eyeballs and work and there, you just feel overwhelmed. I'm here to tell you, you gotta take a break, relax. Listen to this video. Number eight, creating art should be a fun, positive experience. If it's not, change it up. Bam, there you go. I know it sounds easy and it's not. <laughs> That's I'm a professional, I do this for a living and I don't have any other way to go and I have projects and they pay me a lot of money to do them. So I'm not going to just stop and go do something fun unless I you know I, I find myself in a good space in a good like a little spot in the calendar where you know you know some days I'll just walk out and I'll be like man it is so beautiful out here I do not want to go to work and guess what I don't I'll go mow the grass maybe I'll start working on some chains sharpening some chains dressing some bars then I'll maybe carve like a little gnome or something. And that's about as far off the beaten path as I go. Uh, doing something fun. Maybe I'll take the Harley for a ride. All right. Number nine sign of burnout is making your art is a miserable experience. I guess I am definitely guilty of that. It shouldn't be, but it is. I'm like, how long do I have to look at this thing? I want to just go carve something fun. But the guilt weighs on you. The schedule weighs on you. You know, it is what it is. So you just got to keep trucking. The good thing I have multiple large projects, so I can, if I get bored on one, I can always go fiddle fart around with something else. But I hear that. If that's a sign of burnout. Then I guess, guess what? Guess what? I'm burnt out. You're burned out if you spend more time thinking than doing. That is me. I think all the time. And yeah, I believe I think more than I do. I'm just glad I can do both. Think and do. All right. So that would be 9, 9 10. This is 11. Step away as long as you need to. Several years is okay. No, honestly, it's not. I mean, if this is a non-professional type person, you know, you could go find a different job, I suppose. But if you're a professional and your bills and your families are relying on your ability to create, then uh, no, you can't, you can't step away for years, not unless your spouse is independently wealthy, which is the case in some cases. Number 12, get regular exercise to stay healthy and to help with mental health. That's true. I know 
people that have therapy. I, I go to therapy every once in a while, and uh, it really helps. It really helps me. Number 12, make sure to do non-art related activities regularly. <sighs> That's life. I mean, isn't that isn't that the rest of it? That's the rest of it is just called life. If I'm not making art, that's that's all that is entailing. Make sure to to do non-art related activities regularly. That's that's my life, you know. I I mill I have a sawmill, so I mill wood and I you know, I stack wood and I carve wood and I mow grass and I pet my dog and I walk them. I mean, I'm, that's other than that, I'm doing art. It's crazy. It, my whole life revolves around art. All right, 13. Don't limit yourself to only art. All your experiences in life matter. In my opinion, that's dead on. However, if you use those experiences in art to help define the things that you want to accomplish, you're better for it. But I see what they're saying here. They say, don't, don't limit yourself to only art. Only your experiences in life matter. All right, so you have to go out and get some experiences. And then hopefully, you know, go out there and get on the road. If you got a bike, you got a whatever. Take the truck, the camper, and just go exploring. Take the kids out, go do something. And uh, add another story to your, to your resume. Something you learned on the road. The old road scholar. All right, so number 14. Listen to your body to avoid physical injuries. Yeah, I listen to my body 24 hours a day. It's telling me that I have physical injuries. <laughs> my body is a squeaky machine and everything needs the lube and I don't have any. It's called motion is lotion. That's, that's the lotion I use. All right. Now it says here, try not to be 100% product orientated. Uh, the process is just as important as the product. Yes, it is. And I I am less about the product in the end. I mean, it's always got to be good. It's, it's got to be at least to a certain degree of good for me. Uh, but the process is where 90% of my effort is, you know, the vision of it comes first obviously and then you work in layers for a long time to end up with the thing that you're you're after so in reality yes but on the other on the, on the other side of the coin i guess you know making cutting short making shortcuts or taking shortcuts to get there isn't isn't a good thing either so uh yeah so that's pretty much the rundown how to deal with art burnout from the art professor clara lou i think it's lou l-i-e-u lou and teaching artist jordan mccracken foster so that was really good you should check out their 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 facebook page art professional it's it just says art p-r-o-f art prof whatever you can make it whatever you want but it's pretty it's pretty dang good all right everyone thanks for joining me thanks for listening and watching as i flail through another video don't forget to like and subscribe smash that notification bell this has been jeff moore i am the northwoods carver and thanks for listening i'll see you on the next one